when you're in Kenya, you see Somalis, and even in Tanzania, you see Somalis. In, in Dar es Salaam, and this is probably, I would say, when I felt quite lonely. I mean, throughout the journey, I was always thinking about, is this the right thing to do, and would I survive, and would I make it, uh, or would I die? In, in, in no man's land and no one would even bury me. Uh, so I think the farther I went away from home and family, the more I felt pain and loneliness. So I would say reaching this point and being around here in Mutuara where I couldn't speak with people. There weren't that many people I could understand or communicate with. Uh, yes, I felt lonely. What made you drive on from here rather than going back? I think it's the determination. It's, uh, because you have left home for a reason, so you think, I'm not going to go back, I'll just keep on going until I either die or, I mean, get somewhere safe, somewhere where I might prosper. So it's that determination of, and the risk taking of saying, it's either do or die, basically. <laughs>